I would like to share my thoughts, my reaction on what I witnessed the other night between Mr. Locke and Mr. Dean. First of all, I want to say I know a little bit about Mr. Locke. I don't know anything about the guy that was representing the biblical cosmology side. So I, I, my reaction to this is really going to be not favoring one person over another person. Anybody that follows our ministry knows what we believe and teach about this subject. Was there any winners or was who was the loser? What I witnessed by both parties was not really good on either side. What seeds were planted? I watched the whole thing from beginning to end and even jumped back to another platform of someone I don't know that was videoing the aftermath of the situations that was going on. And I'll get to that later. But, you know, what did I witness? I'll start with Mr. Locke. I, I witnessed that he sat down, laid out the guidelines of the debate. And then immediately I noticed when they sat down together and it was supposed to be a discussion, just kind of a talking, I believe is what he said. He was very fidgety. He was leg was bouncing. His hands was twitching. Uh, he was obviously uncomfortable and really wasn't listening a whole lot. And he immediately went into after Mr. Dean got through speaking, not really after he got through speaking, just kind of jumping in, questioning him, attacking. Not, I don't want to say attacking yet, but just immediately just kind of jumped on the man about his beliefs, which is biblical cosmology, which Mr. Locke does not believe in. Just started going, kind of going at the guy and kind of getting under his skin. I want to say this too. Mr. Dean handled himself very, very well for the most part. He probably handled himself a whole lot better than maybe I would have. And I want to say this about Mr. Locke. I know a lot of people attack him. I do not, I don't support his ministry. I don't really know a whole lot about him. What I have, what I have seen about him is he's under constant attack. And what I've seen, I can, I can see why uh, a lot of people bring up his past, which I do not agree with. Once we're baptized and we repent and we're washed in the blood, we're clean. Those sins are forgot about, but yet a lot of people always want to bring that up when they're speaking of him. He is touching a lot of people in certain situations in his ministries. And hopefully they'll, that'll maybe that'll be a starting point to learn and grow and kind of move on. Uh, maybe he's getting moved that touching the kingdom that way, but the man needs prayer. Uh, just like we all do. I mean, you, if you're constantly under attack, especially from, I want to say what I kind of witnessed the other night from, I guess the biblical cosmology community before all that happened, some comments I was looking at in different posts. Yeah. He's, he's going to go up with a wall up and be on the defense because he thinks he's going to get attacked, which I don't agree with a lot of things that I seen, even on the biblical cosmology side that I believe on that Mr. Dean's, uh, like I said, I don't know a lot about him. I don't know what he stands for, what he preaches, what he teaches. I do know, I was very impressed with what he taught on this subject. I mean, the, the man's done his homework. He's he's super knowledgeable when it comes to biblical cosmology. I was I was amazed. But what do you think is going to happen when you're pumping this thing up before it even happens? Me and another brother was talking about this before the debate. I mean, you're advertising it like it's a UFC pay per view. Even on Mr. Like I said, on Mr. Dean's website, he has 
the Great Debate t-shirts and hoodies advertising to send out. I mean, come on, guys. If you're building this up for that, I mean, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, you had two pastors that, that were going at it as soon as they got started 10 minutes in. Just I was like, oh, mercy, I see where this is going. And I knew this was going to happen before it even started. Um, because I know Mr. Locke's reputation of what I've looked into. We were kind of wondering if it was going to go, was he going to start slinging oil on all the, the flat earthers and trying to deliver them for deliverance? Or was he just going to kick everyone out, shut the mic down, uh, and kick everyone out. And that's exactly what happened. That part did. I, there was a bunch of different scenarios and he, uh, he upheld his part, what we were thinking was going to happen. Now, like I said, Mr. Dean, uh, he did an excellent presentation. I mean, the man knows the word. He knows the science behind it. And I'm, a, I'm in agreement with him on all of that. Because, like I said, I didn't know nothing about him in, until he got going. Me and, me and my wife have been in this probably a lot longer than a whole lot of people. We were... We were I don't like saying flat earthers, but uh, we were flat earthers when it wasn't cool. Let's say it that way. Sitting back and watching him go, and there was a lot of A-bands. There was a lot of yes and a lot of that going. And, and I'm sure on Mr. Locke's side, there was a lot of people kind of quiet and, um, and amazed by what they were seeing in his presentation. Hopefully there was a lot of seeds planted. But what I'm worried about by the end of it, did uh are those seats going to root that's my concern i do not like the i don't like a lot of debates nothing i know a lot of you ain't going to agree with this but i just me when i see like trinity versus unitarianism versus monotheism versus when i see all these on i'm looking at my computer screen that's that's what i'm looking at um when I, I see a lot of these debates happening between people, I look in the comments. And when I look at the comments, I'm saying, yep, we won. One for our team. Hey, yeah, way to go. Wow. Nothing, nothing ever good. It's always, yeah, we showed them up. Yeah, we showed them. Man, in a lot of debates, you see a lot of cockiness come out of people. It just, especially this one on both sides. And like I said, I could see where Mr. Dean would, would kind of get aggravating because he was constantly getting poked and poked and poked. And um, for the most part, he did very well. But his presentation, like I said, was phenomenal. He finished up. And then when Mr. Locke started, I really don't want to say a presentation, when he started his reading and preaching and trying to get the uh, emotions worked up of the audience it for the most part it well it didn't work he even made the comment of his people that were there uh, don't quote me on this just go back and look at it like you know they're being quiet because you know they're just kind of rooted in their seat and just waiting yeah they were quiet because he really he failed in his presentation. He, he really did. And even the biblical stuff he was trying to present, he the man didn't do his homework is what it boils down to. You, you can't get in any kind of study or any kind of debate if you don't have the foundation for it. If you, you can't study something for two weeks and expect to teach it and preach it. That would say... <laughs> That's theological gymnastics because it's not talking about the day spring. Is it talking about the sunrise, yes or no? What I'd to do is go to a channel, go to a creek that seemed to be flat for like three or four miles. And because it seemed to be flat, which was later disproven, by the way, which was seemed to be flat for just a few miles, now he's built this entire theological framework that the church has bought into hook, line, and sinker, and they say, we believe the Bible, we believe the Bible, and quote, no Bible. I don't care what NASA says. 
I don't care what your fifth grade teacher said. Those people are not the authority in my life. Okay, Disney is definitely not the perverted authority in my life. Yes, circle, ball. Because here's the, here's the argument. Well, a circle is not a ball. That's true, but a ball is a circle. And guess what? Ball, in early Isaiah, he's exactly right. Ball and circle, two different words. But you know what the word ball means in the Hebrew? Circle. One verse in the Bible that disproves flat earth immediately, without hesitation, without a drop the mic and go home. Psalm 103, verse 11 and 12. We're going to take it one verse at a time. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Now, do you believe that? Yes or no? I do. But if you believe there's a limit to the heaven, you've limited God's mercy. And Romans says that you nor any height or depth can take you away from the love of God. So if you're going to tell me there's a structure that's blocking the rest of the heaven, you have just minimized the mercy of God. But me just watching, you know, there was a lot of heckling going on to Mr. Locke. There should have been respect there on both sides and just... Even though he was poking, sometimes we have to be quiet, just listen. And he would dig his own grave if you just let him keep talking. <laughs> He's, um, I, like I said, I don't agree with that part. Like I said, even coming from what you would say, the, the biblical cosmology side, uh, it just... There should have been, uh, I, could, I, don't, I believe what you'd call a mediator, somebody instructing that thing. Hey, let this guy talk. You guys be quiet. Let him do his and stick to the order that he said it was going to be in in the beginning because it, it didn't stick to that. It, like I said, it got ugly. Even uh, when Mr. Dean got back up on, you know, I think Mr. Locke told him to come back up on stage and then they started I was a little nervous, to be honest with you, there at the end. It looked like they were kind of getting a little too close for comfort. Um, it shouldn't have got to that point. And Mr. Locke, uh, I believe, told him that he quoted, he made a statement about, you're not a Christian if you don't believe this. And then Dean started uh, denying that. Now, I will say this. I, I was watching it. You can go back, I believe, at the on the video, somewhere around the 20 or 23-minute mark. Mr. Dean did say that. Uh, or was implying it. It's right there around that where in the back presentation, it was the water and I believe the mountains reflecting into it. Like I said, around the 20 or 23 minute mark, he said, you know, if you're claiming to be a, a Christian and I believe, you know, in reading these verses, it, he was implying that what Mr. Locke said and, and Dean was denying that. So like I said, there were some errors kind of on both part and, uh, like I said, I, there again, I am in a hundred percent agreement with Mr. Dean O'Dell, what he was teaching at that. And I could see where it was going when Mr. Locke was kind of baiting him. And do you agree with this? Do you agree with that? Because, uh, Mr. Dean was going to let some other gentleman come up. I believe his name's Austin. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm old, bear with me, but uh, I, like I, said, I don't know anything about him either. Um, I think Mr. Locke didn't want people coming up on stage because he had already, I don't want to come out and just say it, but he had already proven himself to not, not he shouldn't have touched this. He, he, he shouldn't have touched this. He shouldn't have done this debate. And like I said, when, when, you kind of seen the anger come out in him, and then he just halted the whole thing, stopped it, said that uh, he didn't turn his mic off, get these people out of here. And then Mr. O'Dell, uh, I hope I'm saying his name right, you know, kind of just threw his hand up and then, I don't want to say threw the mic at him, but tossed the mic at him where I'm assuming, you know, even after watching it from the audience so on another video, you know, Mr. Locke could have called it, but, you know, he slapped it. I think he was trying to slap it back at him. Then don't ask me a question. That's the whole point. We did this a minute ago where we asked questions and you let me speak and I let you speak. Say and that's what we're doing. So give your rebuttal. So I'm going to give it. All right. 
First of all, let's make it. And by the way, I'm just going to add this here. You know, when we came this weekend, I was hoping that things would stay sweet and nice between us, but it's not the case. And so what I did was I rented a room at the uh, at the Marriott for tomorrow morning. If anybody wants to come have church with Fire and Grace Church, absolutely. But I'm not going to sit here under this kind of belligerent attacks and calling people names and stuff like that. I'm just not, I can't I can't come back here because of it. Okay. All right. But here, you can do it, but I can't be abrasive, and because then that hurts your wife's feelings. It's okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Has anybody? Has any? I've never called you a clown. You called when you got up talking about this. Hey, quit saying a few weeks ago. That's the first time I ever even mentioned you. I'm talking about tonight. Tonight you have been insulted. Yes. And and I wanted to keep it nice. Uh, let me say this very. Let me say this very clearly. Let me say this very clearly. No, you did. You told me that I was involved in a deception. You were. And then when I say it, you're like, Oh my no, God, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We believe each other's deceived in there. That's fine. But when you say moronic, idiotic, when you start going down, I didn't call you or anybody that. I said we attack ideologies. And as far as I'm concerned, the ideology is moronic. All right. Let me let me let me show you where you were. This this is the kind of stuff. He said, "Where did this out in Hebrews 11:3? I took a little note here. It says, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that with uh, so the things which are seen are not made with things which appear." Now his argument was that the term "worlds" here means the planets, the solar system. The word here, if he looked it up in the Greek dictionary, find out it doesn't mean anything like that. In fact, the word is the Greek word eon, which means ages or time periods, not planets. So that's what you just did. That verse is deception and error. Well, then explain the two verses that I used that led into that verse, because they did prove that we are the only habitable planet amongst many. No, no, no. Well, first of all, the word planet does not exist. It's used one time in the King James Version, and that's a mistranslation because the actual... It's always a mistranslation. Because the actual Hebrew word... The actual... Quit the rest of it. The actual Hebrew word is mazalah, which means constellations, not planets. And that's a fact. And you're deceived. Dr. John! If me being deceived means I believe in the spirit of earth, I'm deceived, and you can just go ahead and leave and cancel this debate right now because you're not going to convince me what the Bible clearly said. The earth is not flat 1,000%. And if I got people in our church that think it is, that's great. I love you. But if you want to go to his little service in the morning, then go to his service in the morning. It's not going to bother me one bit. The earth is not flat. It was just proven 2,500 years ago. You can't show me one verse in the Bible that proves that the earth is flat. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. We're not going to get anywhere else because here's the problem. You use two hours of PowerPoint presentation and your people are quiet. I use an hour and 15 minutes of the Bible and they get mad and start throwing haters and haters at me. Here's me. Let me say this. I'm walking out now. But I want to say this. Oh, listen. Your folks are standing up together. Go. Get out. Okay. You know what? That's fine with me. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I gave you the scripture. He gave you her, his version. It's well, always somebody else's oh, version. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. This you, is you came up with your scriptures and gave your interpretation of them. I gave mine. I gave you the Bible. I gave you the Bible. I gave more Bible than you did for a fact. Right there. That's a fact. How about in your rebuttal, I'll keep my mouth shut and you tell me how wrong I was about your misapplication of the ring No, no, no. Yeah, Job no. chapter 38. First of all, and no, is it sunrise or not? No, not at all. I don't agree with you. Turn his mic off. Get out. You're, you're a Bible denier. You're a Bible denier. You're a Bible denier. That is ridiculous. Bible denier. Just get out. Get the band up here. Let's worship the Lord. I ain't put this nonsense. So I gave you our platform. He shouldn't have even tossed his mic. He should have just politely set it down, held his peace, walked off. You show respect in someone else's house. 
even though you weren't shown respect. You just show respect um, or just try to hold yourself, especially if you're a man of y'all, you know, claiming to be a pastor. And like I said, he he was being poked and he was being provoked, but we still have to show respect there. Paul even did that back in Acts when he kind of held his peace and went to them privately concerning certain things. And then this is where, to me, it kind of got ridiculous. I, you know, Mr. Locke cut his feet. And I'm referring to him as Mr. Locke. I don't consider him, uh, I don't want to say pastor, because uh, he's not my pastor. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, I don't, I don't want to get into it. But what I witnessed, you know, is like rushing, getting everybody out. Uh, I don't know for a fact, if they were like being told to get out, you know, in the tent, I couldn't see that. I did notice it looked like a bunch of um, guys claiming to be security. I don't know if they are what they were, but they had on the the beige tactical bulletproof sheriff or whatever. I don't, I don't know if they were Mount Juliet sheriff's police. I, I don't know. But I, that was, to me, kind of silly. And then going to the other man's feed, again, I think his name was Austin. You know, he was kind of live streaming this as they got outside. And then they were outside just kind of talking and fellowshipping and going over everything. And you could see a lot of people were out of breath. And uh, Mr. Mister Dean would even come up to the truck. And he was kind of, you know, he's, he's, everybody was kind of worked up. But I did not witness anything out of hand not saying that it didn't something went might have went on inside but then the next thing you know the sheriff's department or police department was mount juliet police was called and told them to leave the property wow that man now if they were asked like i said i don't know i wasn't there now if they were asked repeatedly to hey guys y'all need to leave get on get on but what I seen in the video, this was only like a 30 minute time lapse. So the police were called pretty quick uh, to get out there. Again, a bunch of silliness. What if uh, Mr. Locke did say that, that he said that there was a bunch from the flat earth community, biblical cosmology community from his church group. And there were some people there that he, that, he didn't really know, you know, what are them going to, what are them people going to take out of this watching both sides? That's my concern. A lot of videos that are going out from atheists. There's a lot of atheists that covered this that are going to just run rampant with it. Hopefully something good come out of it. But me on the outside looking in, yeah, there was an excellent presentation that Mr. Dean did. Yes, Mr. Locke didn't do very well. And I've seen some videos that come out, winner by knockout by Mr. Dean. Man, come on. Truly, was there any winners in this? What if you're walking by that church and seen a whole bunch of police escorting people out and you're asking why why they get escorted out oh because they believe in flat earth any atheist will tell you they they make fun of christians because we're flat earth bible believing people what good come out of it i know there was a lot of people worked up a lot of people upset and it's already starting on social media. Just go look it up and look at the comments. We're supposed to hold ourselves up to a different standard. Even though we're being poked and provoked. And I can't say that I would have done better. Not saying that at all. But I am just telling you as a man, I... I do look at comments on videos 
and see people's reactions. And that's what tears me up. I hope there was more seeds planted. Good. I hope there was more good seeds planted than there was more bad seeds planted. Because there's people that were there that are already making videos, making fun of Mr. Locke. Provoking things. Let's just say it that way. That's not good. We as a body of believers shouldn't be doing that. But that's my opinion. Everybody has an opinion. And I just wanted to put mine out there and share my thoughts on what I witnessed. And what I witnessed was a bunch of hype before it started. Like it was going to be a fight and like it was going to be a battle. And that's exactly what happened. Be blessed.